So a library that I quite like that I haven't talked a whole lot about is called Immer. Now what this library helps out with is making it simpler to update your data. So one of the constraints with using Redux is you can't mutate the data. So you'll notice we're not doing that. And here we are creating a new array and then we are pending it to the beginning. And here we're mapping through and creating a new array of items. Um, but because of that, the code can look a little bit more convoluted. Like take a look at this toggle complete. Really what we're wanting to do is look up an item at a certain index and set the value of it. Um, and so it'd be really nice if I could just say to do's at position I um, and say dot complete is equal to false. Or in this case, we want to invert it. So just copy this and we can say the opposite of it. But this would be mutating the state, um, but it's easier to understand. And that's where Emmer comes in. So it allows you to mutate the state, but it'll create or return a new value of it. So let's take a look at what that would look like. So how it works is there's a function called produce that you can get from Emmer. And how it works is we're going to call produce here. So I'm going to say produce, and here I'm going to say the current state we pass in. So in this case, the state that we want to change. That's our to-dos right there. And then secondly, we pass in a function. How this function works is it's going to take a parameter, which is called the draft state. And then inside of that function, we're going to do some stuff. And now inside this function, what we do is we can mutate this draft state. So in this case, I'd like to say draft state dot push, and I can push this item on. So now what's going to happen is it's going to take our to-dos and it's going to copy it to a draft state. And then whenever we make a mutation, like we are right here, we're mutating the data, um, it's going to note that. And then when the function is complete, it's going to return a new copy of this object. So we still are not muta mutating the entire thing. So Redux is still happy. Um, and so we can do the same thing with this over here and we can verify that this still works. We can still add items one, two, three. Now you'll notice I'm adding this to the end. How we really did it is we were adding this to the beginning so we can use the unshift and that will add items to the beginning now. So I can say one, two, three, and it's going to be added to the beginning now. And we can do the same thing for our toggle complete here. So I can say produce to do's and here's going to be our draft state and we're just going to wrap this in a function and now in this case we can pretty much just get rid of this stuff here because we're going to just take a totally different approach so now i can just say uh, oops i can do the example that i was talking about so now i can say draft state and we can say action.i Dot complete and we can just set the value so in this case we're just going to take the inverse of it and we'll take the inverse and that is it so now this logic looks a lot simpler and it's a lot more readable that I am setting a value at a current index and I am setting complete and I'm just inverting it so let's take a look at what this looks like now we can say one two and we can click on the items and they're going to invert or we're going to toggle complete and it's using the same thing or we get the same result, but now our code's a lot cleaner. Um, now I also want to talk about how I'm using produce here. You'll notice I'm returning it like that. Um, it's actually uh, recommended in the Emmer docs. They actually have it set up where they actually move produce kind of up here and they wrap the switch statement in it. And that's a pretty good approach. But since we are using hooks, Emmer actually just came out with a new hook. So it's called use Emmer. So you can install the NPM package if you want to, but I would suggest taking a look at the index.js file and you can kind of see what it looks like. So the cool thing about hooks is usually they're pretty short. And so it's nice to be able to just go in and see how the code works. So now it's pretty easy to go in and see how does this use Emmer work? In this case, they have a nice one called use Emmer reducer, which will save us uh, some time. So what how this works is we can copy this or we can install the npm package. I'm just going to copy this so we can see what it looks like as we're using it. So here is use emmer reducer. And basically this just replaces 
um, the use reducer. So I'm going to say use emmer reducer. Um, and now what that's going to do is it's going to here it's making a curry uh, of the reducer. So it's currying. Um, and then it's just passing that to the reducer. So what this gets us is this code might be a little weird if you're not familiar with how uh, Emmer works and how just calling produce like that works. But the gist of it is we are now going to be past a to do's item here that we can mutate. So what that gets us is I can say uh, instead of draft state here, I can say to do's and then I don't really have to return about or worry about returning anything. Um, because we're, when we mutate this, um, Emmer handles it for us, returning a new value. And we could do the same thing here. And we'll just return that. And I'm going to say to do's and to do's. So now our code is quite a bit simpler and more readable, switching over to Emmer. And we're getting the same functionality. So if I come over here, say one, two, three and we can toggle things on and off. So personally, if I'm going to be using the use reducer, I'm going to highly consider using the use emmer reducer instead because it helps you just write cleaner code and kind of visualize it better. Um, and you're in this kind of state where you're mutating stuff, but you're not actually. So that's just something to keep in mind uh, and consider sometimes it's easier to use emmer to mutate um, and use that in your kind of Redux or your reducer code instead of uh, creating new values yourself.